Good evening, everybody. Uh, welcome to the Committee of the Hall meeting on February the 27th. I'm going to call this meeting to order at 4.30 p.m. Acknowledgement that the District of Tofino operates within the territory of the Tlokrit First Nation and a notice to attendees that the meeting is being video recorded and will be published on the District of Tofino's YouTube channel. I'll move from the chair that pursuant to section 15 of the District of Tofino meeting procedure bylaw number 1229-2016 as amended, the February 27, 2023 regular meeting be held electronically via Zoom and live broadcasted on the District of Tofino's YouTube channel and that the facility provided for the public to watch and hear the meeting to be located at Municipal Hall, 380 Campbell Street in Tofino, BC. Are there any objections? Seeing none, the recommendation is carried. Um, for those that don't know, the delegation for tonight is cancelled. So I move that the February 27th, 2023 committee to whole meeting agenda be adopted as amended. I have a seconder? Second. All those in favour? No objections, motion carried. I move from the chair that the minutes of the committee, the whole meeting held December 5th, 2022, be adopted. Are there any objections? Seeing none, the recommendation is carried. Secondly, that the minutes of the special committee of the whole meeting held January 24th, 2023, be adopted. Any objections? Seeing none, the recommendation is carried. Public comment on agenda items? Yes, um, Chair McMaster, we have nobody from the public in attendance, so no questions at this time. Okay, moving on. Uh, there's no delegation. Do we have any correspondence at all? No. Presentations and reports. A wastewater treatment plant and conveyor system upgrades. Project available report from Infrastructure and Public Works. Over to you, Sam. <clears throat> Good evening, Mayor and Council. So I'm going to present a verbal update um, on the progress of the wastewater treatment plan, conveyance upgrade, and outfall replacement project. Um, kind of show some progress since the last time uh, staff presented an update in December of 2022, or yeah, December 2022. So progress from December 2022 up until the end of February 2023. So overview, so we'll, we'll, we'll go through a bit of a progress update, have some bullet points, and then go through fun stuff, which is photographs. We'll give, give a bit of a description for each one of the photographs. Um, at the end, there's questions and comments. Um, if Mayor and Council wish, um, Mayor and Council may ask questions at the end of each photo, just to make it easier with flipping back and forth, or at the end of each slide. There's no problem with that. We'll go. Uh, we'll provide a staff will provide an update on staffing for the facility uh, as we are looking into our commissioning phase soon enough. And we'll go through some upcoming construction milestones, uh, kind of speak a little bit more specifically about some of the milestones for the conveyance work as it is a little bit more uh, front facing to the public and then overarching questions and comments on the presentation. So since staff last presented an update on the project, um, con conveyance construction has uh, mobilized and commenced as Everyone's well aware in the town. Um, the majority of our major equipment submittals uh, have been completed. So getting all the detailed vendor data and getting that reviewed by the different uh, engineering disciplines. Rock blasting at the wastewater treatment plant site is complete. Um, there is some smaller blasting segments that will be ongoing as we encounter rock in our trenching and then as we're going to be installing the wet wells for some of our uh, sewage pumping stations or lift stations. Um, the nature of those blasts will be 
significantly less magnitude than at the wastewater plant site as um, part of the engineered blasting plans is taken into account adjacent utilities and adjacent structures as we're, we're blasting in closer um, proximity to those. So less kind of like less powder um, put into the charges, uh, some smaller pilot holes and all that sort of thing. So um, concrete foundation installations are underway over at the wastewater treatment plant site. So we've cast um, sections of the mechanical building slab. Um, we're having to cast the concrete in smaller sections as um, just sourcing concrete here at the, the junction. The concrete bash plant just can't accommodate large scale pours. Um, we've also cast concrete to the foundations for one of our tanks, which everyone will see in the photos as they come through. And we were trying to cast concrete today for a second tank, but we'll be doing that tomorrow. We just had a little bit of slowdowns with some of the snow. Um, and then we're just continuing on with that, uh, with, with the concrete work. Uh, manufacturing of the major equipment is underway. Um, we have had some pumps show up to site already. We're storing them in um, kind of like a, uh, a bit of an air controlled environment in C containers. Um, there, the screening equipment's getting fabricated. The, the, a lot of the IFAS submittals have been completed and components are going into fabrication um, at this time as well. Um, clarifier me mechanism kind of being finalized and components being put into fabrication as well. So. That's good news. And then also the manufacturing of, this, of the uh, pre-engineered steel buildings and the prefabricated steel tanks are underway as well. Uh, the tanks we should see start starting to arrive on site as I'll get to later in the presentation, um, a little bit later in April of 2023, which is great news. And we're aggressively hoping the buildings start showing up in June, 2023, but over the course of June and July, we should see pre-engineered steel showing up on site so, um, so the buildings can be erected. So getting into some photos now. So grab a point. Oh, there you go. So we have project funding signage installed now, um, which the provincial and federal staff are happy to see, as you can see that on the left. So that's that's one update that's happened. Um, more exciting though, we did have um, our staff, uh, staff, we do have a, a drone that the district does own, so we were able to fly the drone over the site and get a few progress shots, which was very exciting. So you can, I don't have a laser pointer, I don't think on this, do I? That's okay. Um, but you can see up at the top, uh, a little bit of an L shape there, that is a lock block um, retaining wall system that we're building up. That is working up to put us in a place, a position to um, build our headworks foundation slab. Um, that's where all of the influent sewage will start to be processed in the headworks building. Beside it, where you can see the concrete pump is set up, we were actually casting the concrete for our equalization tank on that day. So you'll see the equalization tank that's just on the right hand side of that L shaped kind of block uh, retaining wall that's being put up. That's where any um, any excess flows would be stored um, in order to allow for proper flows to go through the IFAS processing. The two smaller circles there, kind of at the top of the circle side by side, those are the IFAS reactor um, tanks. As they're getting formed, we're planning on we're, we were planning on pouring one of those today. We're going to pour the concrete for that tomorrow. Um, the two larger circles, those are our secondary clarifiers. So that's where we get the um, first stage of the secondary. Um, treatment into our uh, sewage, into our new, new sewage system here. Um, and then the big rectangle at the bottom, that's our mechanical slash process building, which also houses our controls and, and administrative functions and electrical rooms in there. You can kind of see how it's essentially broken up into quarters for the, for the concrete. You can see we've cast a quarter of that there. We are planning on pour, uh, casting the next quarter of concrete on we're hoping for Wednesday, it may be Thursday, but nonetheless, it will be occurring this week and kind of carrying on through. Um, all, all the reinforcing steel has been installed. So over the next couple of weeks, we should have concrete completed for that entire foundation. 
Then um, you can kind of see the ring road that's been etched in around the entire um, plant there. And then on the left-hand side, we have our quarry area where we're kind of uh, mining and we're crushing our own rock so we can um, utilize all of the rock that was on site for backfilling the conveyance system as well. So we're not having to import um, granular material from offsite to facilitate the project. Anyone have any questions about the fabulous drone shot? Pretty cool. It's a great comment. Appreciate that. <laughs> okay. I did notice the timber on the bottom right there. Um, yep. I'm just curious uh, what is happening with that. So the bulk of the timber um, is for the contractors, like it's the contractor at the end of the day. There is, the we are um, chatting with certain people within the community to, to, with, um, they've, they've, they've agreed that they give a couple pieces of, of timber away. Um, uh, we're hoping that uh, maybe the Tolokia Nation, if they would like to have one or two pieces, if they find any of use there, um, that they would have the opportunity to take that. So kind of in conversation with them about that right now. Oops, a little, a little sensitive. So here's a little bit of a close up of the mechanical building base lab. Uh, kind of in process, in progress. So you can see all the formwork that's there, the reinforcing steel um, being tied. As I stated in the last slide, we've cast about a quarter of the concrete to that base slab, and we expect to have the remainder of concrete placed in that slab by the end of uh, March 2023. And it's also the housekeeping is looking very good on the project as well. So is always a very important thing. So lots of safety and uh, good quality quality uh, production. Um, here is the equalization tank. Uh, shortly after it was cast, the concrete was placed for it. So kind of just getting set up to do the wet curing. The uh, concrete forms are now um, stripped from that area as well. Uh, this is where we'll have our, you can kind of see a, a starter ring around the perimeter of it, that's where the concrete, not sorry, not concrete anymore, but the uh, pre-manufactured steel tanks, the glass line tanks will start getting bolted to that um, cast in perimeter ring. That helps with providing a watertight seal at the base of the tank where the walls of the tank meet the base slab. Um, so it's, it's actually a little bit more effective than when you're casting conventional concrete tanks, um, it does really eliminate that point of um, failure for leaks and, and things like that. So it just kind of helps speed up with the uh, hydrostatic, hydrostatic testing phase as well, which is nice. Here is the IFAST tank that we were hoping to place today. This photo is from last Friday, but it's all ready to go. You can kind of see the starter ring. Um, a little bit better that highlighted blue piece there. So it's kind of it's a typical detail for all five of the um, the larger tanks at, at the construction site at the at the wastewater plant site. So we'll be placing this tomorrow. Um, okay, just make sure I didn't skip one. So here's some of the progress just up the road here at Third Street and Neal Street. So we've laid the HDP force main piping through this section. Um, this week, uh, crews were hoping to start today, but just with some of the snow, we didn't get started and um, they're just finishing putting the last length of pipe in um, just adjacent to the skate park today. Um, I think we were back filling when I was driving in here um, shortly ago, but uh, crews will be working up towards Gibson Street this week and then taking the turn down Gibson Street to um, get all this component of the force main installed over the next uh, week or two. And just a quick question around, like I noticed uh, that the staging for it, had, the material had been there for a little while. For the remainder of those, is uh, do you have a place for staging as convenient as you had there? Or is that going to be brought in uh, each component as you come in for the next phases of it? Yes. Like uh, we have the bulk of the pipes already been delivered. There's going to be another delivery that will be staged um, on Gibson Street 
in between first and at that kind of dirt road of Gibson yeah. is where we'll stage the next bulk. And then there's kind of meeting as the uh, force main comes and turns down first street. We already have um, a couple bundles staged at Centennial Park as well, which will kind of drag back and be used in that area as well. Uh, does that answer it? Yeah, it does. Yeah. yeah. I'm just curious as to uh, yeah. how that process was working because I noticed it was there for a little while uh, coming back and forth, but I hadn't seen any anywhere else. Yeah. 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 So down in that, um, that yeah, that gravel section of Gibson Street, we'll be, we'll be using that to stage a bunch more pipes to kind of fit to get us basically up to the community hall. And then when we go to work, kind of going down the Tonquin connector, there'll be kind of like a drop off staging at both the industrial way side of Tonquin and then some staging at the kind of where the bike park is with piping. And then we can slowly start wheeling it in as we cut in our access road through the, uh, through the Tonquin connector. Um, and then you will likely see another delivery kind of showing up of pipe on main street, kind of around where the McQuinn area is as well. And then that will help kind of stock all the force main piping as it kind of comes up first street and then turns the corner coming up to main street to where the uh, where the ongoing construction is right there yeah any other questions on this slide okay um here at main street so right now what's happening out at main street just so everyone can kind of see what's going or understand what's happening is we're actually having to reroute what the existing sanitary sewer is so the sanitary diversion is what we're calling it um that work is expected we're expecting to do the tie-in on um wednesday this week um once that tie-in's complete so we've rerouted our existing sanitary service then we can actually start digging down to do um to start getting ready to do foundations for the new wet well for that lift station. So that's kind of what the work that's been ongoing over the last um, week and a half or so, um, just out back on Main Street. So once once we get that foundation in for the Main Street pump station and start building up, then that'll help with starting to put the force made in from that location as well, gives us the start that starting point. And we, we thank all the kind of the surrounding people everywhere for all the patients and stuff as we're kind of starting to get going and, and, and find and crews are finding their rhythm as they start to install the linear works. <clears throat> Just on, on this piece on Main Street, um, there's one section of Main Street that's been had problems in other ways, I think. We might have had a water leak there and there's a bit of a slumping happening in the street. Or is there any chance that this work will alleviate any of that? Or is it just getting the, the main street? Uh, through the chair, what are you, what section, is that kind of closer to in second kind of, street? Um, what do you call it? Um, <laughs> the big building. <laughs> the store building? The store building, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Um, it, it, yeah. The, like some of the works is leaning and the street seems to be caving in a little bit. Okay. Um, what I can say through the chair to answer that question is when we go and start excavating and exposing things, if we do find that there is poor material that could be replaced to help with the structure of the road base, then we would assess that at that time. And, you know, if if time and schedule permits and it's advantageous to act on that without, um, you know, opening up or creating another whole project by doing that, um, then yes, we would, we would do something to improve certain areas. Um, but we'll just have to approach that on a case by case scenario to, um, to kind of assess what, what would be practical at this different stages. I'm not asking for any more work. <laughs> just and also what happens when you do run into stuff like that yeah. or if you run into extra rock that you didn't think was there and you need more blasting or whatever stuff whatever. you deal with as you go yeah okay. um yeah and speaking to i mean we also we got to be cog cognizant about budgets and everything as well which is uh, very important um through the chair with respect to rock i mean there's uh boreholes that were conducted at 
15 locations throughout the conveyance. So we do have pretty detailed information on that. And then based on the information we we, we have on the borals, I mean, we've that's we've assigned different like contingencies to the quantities that we have in the unit rates within the conveyance contract as well. So we're managing that's we're managing it and things like that. Moving on, so here's as the pipe, uh, as the force main section along Third Street in front of the um, skate park was installed. This is a section going in. Um, this is actually setting blast mats down for rock removal um, uh, via blasting. So you can kind of see the logistics of the setup for the trench, trench and in rock blasting. So essentially, it's a bunch of uh, recycled tire rubber that makes up the blast pads and everything's um, done according to an engineered a stamped and sealed engineered plan uh, by a geotechnical engineer um, to facilitate all of the blasts as, as they do go through town and uh, sometimes in close proximity with uh, other existing utilities as well. Okay, so that's it for the photos, the fun stuff, but uh, also, fun, also fun is, uh, Trying is uh, figuring out our staffing. So right now, staff have are finalizing the job description for the new uh, sewer utility lead position that we're creating within the within the um, infrastructure and public works department. Uh, right now, we're tracking to post the sewer utility lead position early March 2023. So it's in line with what was previously presented in December. We're getting the position posted to the job market early 2023. Um, which will allow us to stick with the plan of having this position or our goal of having this position in place um, right around May or June 2023, um, just to allow this role to um, be involved with the construction of this of the of the whole program. Um, so they can roll into the commissioning phase, the project closeout phase, and then into the operational fee uh, phase uh, seamlessly. And then part and parcel with staffing, I mean, uh, we are engaging with our existing staff as much as we can for transparency on the project pro process and then to help engage with um, professional development with our existing staff as well. So we can um, have that redundancy in place as we go and go on through the years. So upcoming program milestones. So the plan right now is uh, complete concrete foundation works at the wastewater treatment plant site sometime in May, 2023. Um, as I stated earlier, prefabricated steel tank deliveries start showing up on site late April, 2023. Um, steel to start getting delivered for the buildings um, in June slash July, 2023 will be a bit of a staged approach to the deliveries um, as, as the structures are put up. Uh, conveyance tree clearing. Um, so along the Tonquin connector, there is a little bit of tree clearing that needs to occur. Um, there's some tree clearing required at Centennial Park to put in the lift station at that location and some tree clearing along Warren Way to allow for installation of that new lift station and the conveyance line. So that's all scheduled for March, 2023. Uh, force main installation um, up to Gibson slash First Street um, is occurring over the next couple of weeks, so early March 2023. Then we're doubling back in the force main installation kind of up First Street to Main Street and kind of just around the corner, planning to have that at the end of March 2023. Um, following that force main installation along Main Street from the new wharf pump station the new Main Street pump station will be occurring throughout April 2023 um, with the goal of trying to move all the in-town works um, to, to a stage of completion ahead of the busy season as much as we possibly can. It, 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 is, it, it is a challenge, um, as, but uh, we try to structure our schedules as much as we can to, to get as, as much of our resources away from town as possible by May. And then we plan on commencing the construction of the wharf pump station um, in April 2023 as well. I'm trying to get out of the ground, so at least we're working in a contained area at that location as well um, by the time that the town starts to get a lot more busy in May. 
Any questions on the upcoming milestones or comments? Any questions or comments <laughs> <laughs> overarching on the on the update? Well, thank you. If there's no questions, mm -hmm. fabulous job. <laughs> thank you, Marilyn. We just love the updates and love the progress. Thanks, Roger. Yeah, appreciate it. It's amazing what progress can be made, and once everything's mobilized. And yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, well, we appreciate it. I mean, it's a it's a massive uh, collaboration and um, a lot of like a, a huge team um, behind. Like making all this happen, and I mean the the, the amount of day to day communication that's required to kind of keep everything, all the moving parts moving in the right direction. I mean, um, uh, I'm very uh, staff or district staff are very thankful for all of the, the the project staff that we have in place um, with with all of our contractors and subcontractors and consultants um, that we're working with. Great, thank, thank you. you. Okay, moving on. No, no, no finished business. They were on the QA. Chair McMaster, no questions at this stage. Okay. No motion to adjourn. Don't know which hands it was. <laughs> <laughs> All those in favor. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Yeah. <laughs>